Hello folks, this is uh, uh, 2019 May June paper 2 2 and the question number is 3. The first question says that uh, states what is what is meant by the uh, center of gravity of a body. So it's just definition. It is the point through which the whole weight of the body is uh, supposed to act. Now in question number B, our main focus is on the uh, conceptual problems that we have. It says that uniform uh, square sign with uh, sides of length 0 0.68 meter so square sign with the lengths of 0 0.68 meters is fixed at its corner points a and b a and b to a wall the sign is also supported by a wire cd wire cd here as uh, shown in figure 3.1 the sign has a weight w weight w so it means that uh, uh, this distance and this should be equal this and this should be equal and so on and center of gravity at point e the sign is held in a vertical plane with side BC horizontal, so BC should be horizontal. The wire is at an angle of 35 degree to side BC, so this uh, uh, wire is inclined at an angle of 35 degree to this BC. The tension in the wire is uh, 54 Newton, so I can use this as a T here, tension in the wire is 54 Newton. The force exerted on the sign at B is only in vertical direction. So. Uh, it has given us a, a condition here the force on sign b is only in the vertical direction vertical direction now the first question is calculate the vertical component of the tension of the in the wire so we have t equal to here so that's why the vertical component will be somewhat like this it should be somewhat like this so this should be equal to the vertical component f vertical should be equal to t sine of 35 degrees so since this is the angle is over here angle is over here so the component here should be sine uh, sine so it should be equal to uh, equal t is equal to 54 sorry 50 is 54 uh, sine of 35 degree so when i do it in the calculator so uh, 35 uh, sine uh, into 54 is equal to it is a 30.97 newton so i can write simply write it as a 30 point uh, sorry 31.0 newton in 3 sf so if it is 2SF, it will be simply 31, but uh, I'm writing here in 3SF, so it is 31.0. Explain why the force on the sign at B does not have a moment about point A. So it says that the force uh, uh, about uh, uh, force on this uh, sign, uh, this point, uh, does not have a moment about A. So it's, it's because here it is stated that the force on the sign B is only in vertical direction. So that means the force is either this or this, either this or this. Whatever it may be, the uh, force passes through A. The force passes through A. So that's why there is no distance between there is no distance between the line of action of the force and that uh, uh, that fulcrum, that fulcrum point. So that's why there is no moment. So actually, it is because the force the force passes through the force passes through the point A through the point A. So that's why the uh, distance of the line of action from the point A itself is zero. So distance of, distance of line of action of force, line of action of force, of force from A, from A equal to zero. So that's why uh, the moment should also be equal to zero. Now in the next question we have, we have something like this so slight a mis uh, alignment here so let me align it properly 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 like this like this so now in number three i have to find uh, by taking the moment about point a show that the weight of the body is weight of the sign is 150 newton so what we have to do is i have to find the moment about to point a i have to see for all the moments there and uh, show that the weight of the sign is 150 newton so if i go for the moments uh, this weight if i th keep this as fixed point this weight will try to move this in in a clockwise sense try to move this thing in a clockwise sense so that's why we have a clockwise moment tau c is equal to is equal to w into w into the distance from a to here distance between the line of action and that point so this distance should be equal to half of this distance half of 0 0.68 so it's equal to 0 0.34 
And next is, uh, next we have uh, the, the, uh, the torques are, so tau anticlockwise equal to. So there are two forces which are trying to move this thing in anticlockwise sense. So they are, one is this T sine uh, uh, 35, the vertical component. So this is the line of action of this force, line of action of this force here. And this thing is trying to move it in an anticlockwise sense. So that's why tau anticlockwise. In tau anticlockwise, this thing also, this is also one of the force that contributes. So the torque uh, given by it, or moment, will be equal to the magnitude of this force, which is uh, T sine 35. So T sine of uh, 35 degree into into the distance from this line of action from the fulcrum. Distance of this line of action from the fulcrum, so it should be equal to 0.68. Now it's the not only the force producing the anticlockwise moment, so it is plus we have got the horizontal component of this tension T is also here which we call as a T cos theta, T cos 35 degree. So this T cos 35 degree, if it is the fulcrum, it acts along this direction. So that's why this also is trying to produce anticlockwise sense, anticlockwise moment. So this thing also is trying to produce anticlockwise moment or torque. So that's why I have to add this thing also. So T cos of 35 degree into the perpendicular distance from this line of action from this fulcrum point A is this distance AB which is again equal to 0.68. So we have uh, two distances are 0 0.68. It's because this thing is a square body. Square body. So if I equate this thing into this thing, so I will have W should be equal to, should be equal to this whole thing divided by 0 0.34. So it will be, if I do in the calculator, so it will be uh, 35 uh, sine into T uh, into 0 0.68 uh, plus bracket 35 uh, cos into T into 0 0.68 bracket close equal to divided 0.34. So that becomes equal to equal to W equal to 150.41 watts. So according to this thing it is nearly equal to 150 watts. So weight of the thing is equal to this much. Now calculate the total vertical force exerted on the wall on the sign by points A and B. So we have to find the vertical force on the, uh, by the wall on this, uh, on this sign. So we have uh, two forces here. Uh, one of the forces is W. W is acting downward. And the next force is uh, this force here, this force, uh, the vertical component of uh, T sine uh, T, which is equal, equal to, uh, we have got this value as 31.0, uh, uh, 31.0. So this thing was uh, uh, 150.4, this thing was a uh, 31.0. So if I do the total force, the force total is equal to, is equal to 150.4 minus 31.0. This becomes equal to, this is 4, so it is 120.4 Newton, 120, so let's do it once again, 4, 0, 1, uh, 9, this is uh, 10, 1, 9, so this is 0.4, this is 9, then we have got here, so it is 1, so 1 on 9.4, so it is equal to 119 Newton, 119 Newton, and this force is in the resultant is in the downward direction. So it's not only the magnitude, we have to take care of the direction also, so that's why it is directed downward. Now, the sign in B uh, is held together by nuts and bolts. Yes, of course. One of the nuts falls vertically from wrist through a distance of 4.8 meter to the pavement below. So one of the nuts from here falls, this or this falls. Uh, the land, uh, the nut lands on the pavement with a speed of maybe 2 meter per second. So remind for the not falling from the sign, the ratio of change in gravitational potential energy by final k. So here we have a change in gravitational potential energy is equal to mg into delta in height. So that's equal to uh, m into 9.81 into the change in height when it falls is 4.8 meters. So because it was in at a height of 4.8 meters and it goes to zero. And the final k is equal to, k e final is equal to 1 by 2 m into v final square. v final is the speed at which it lands. So that's equal to 1 by 2 m into 9.2 square. So the ratio is equal to, therefore ratio is equal to, change in this thing, that's equal to m into 9.81 into 
4.8 divided 1 by 2 into m into 9.2 squares. m m gone. So ratio becomes equal to, so if I do in the calculator, so it is uh, uh, 9.81 into 4.8 divided bracket 0.5 into 2 square. So this becomes equal to 1.11. So the ratio is equal to 1.11 or in 2SF I can just use 1.1.